So are you essential? Uh, wait, don't answer that. I'm going to answer it for you. The answer is yes, you are essential. But today on the video, we're talking about a brand new company. Are you essential? I've got two oils to talk about and I'm going to give you the whole breakdown on the company and everything with that. So welcome guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And we are getting really close to 2000 subscribers. If you haven't checked out my latest video, uh, when we hit that 2000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway of a Brio Beardscape trimmer. So if you're interested in entering that, make sure you check out the video and be sure to be subscribed. So are you uh, essentials is out of Western New York. They started in August of 2021. They uh, feature all essential oils. So no fragrance oils. So we'll talk about the scents in just a minute. Uh, really good prices. And right now they just have uh, oil. So there's two oil scents to choose from, uh, but coming pretty soon, maybe over the next month or so, you're going to be seeing some beard butter and also in a couple of new scents for that. But right now the oil goes for $14.99, which is a great price. Uh, plus you can save 10% with the code BAB10. So the owner shared that with me. I also wanted to pass that along to you guys. So the carrier oil blend is jojoba, hemp seed, sunflower, and vitamin E. Feels really good in the beard. Also because there's all essential in the fragrances. Every once in a while you'll get a, a fragrance oil that will make your beard kind of feel dry out faster, especially if there's a lot of fragrance in it, which they have to do sometimes. Um, so we've got really great looking packaging comes in these nice little um, cylinders. Uh, the, so the, the way this looks is really good. The only issue I have is I don't like these style of dropper tops, um, especially I think for shipping for this particular one. Uh, it, when I got it out of the package, it was leaking a little bit out of the top. And then this one, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there you go. You can see it's bent. It's a little bulbs bent. I, I didn't mess around with trying to straighten it out. My mic could get it to pop all the way out. I don't know. I think uh, this probably works well at a show, but when you ship it in the mail and you got to turn it upside down and all that stuff, maybe not quite so much. So one thing that, that some company, other companies do is they'll get like a flat top um, and use that for the shipping. And then they'll put the dropper like in the container with it. So that might be an option. Uh, the other part about these is this is really slick. So if you get oil on it, this gets a little, could be hard to open. Uh, whereas the other kind of dropper tops usually has the little, uh, the little grips on it, which opens a little bit better. So you know, just wanted to mention that. Uh, other than that, my experience with these work really, uh, everything works really good on it. So there's two scents and I really enjoy both of them. Let me know, are you a fan of the all essential oil scents? Now, none of these really have the woodsy notes to it. Like sometimes you start getting a woodsy one and you get a certain thing in your mind. This is more like a traditional kind of scent to you, to me anyway. So uh, one of them is vanilla coconut. And that's exactly what it says is vanilla coconut. But I would tell you, if I'm looking for like a summer scent, I'm going to go for that vanilla coconut because I'm not always about the fruity stuff. Uh, so this is a good summer scent with the coconut in it. It's really smooth. That kind of offsets, you know, a natural like vanilla, uh, vanilla extract kind of scent. Uh, it can be a little bit biting, but that coconut smooths it out. So it's a really good combination. To me, it reminds me of like a Hawaiian tropic kind of suntan lo lotion. There's no pineapple or anything else in that. Just a really good kind of vanilla coconut scent. I like it. Um, so that one to me, that's going to last a couple hours. The essential oils don't usually last forever. So if you're, uh, if you're the kind that like, um, really strong scents, you're going to last all day. People can smell you. You're going to be able to smell you. If you put this on and walk in, walk right next to them, they'll be able to smell that kind of coconut, warm vanilla smell, I think, but, uh, you won't be able to get that for hours and hours on end. I will tell you that the fill in beard did last all day for me until the end of the day. And I put on some beard butter at night. All right. The other uh, one is mahogany teakwood, mahogany teakwood. And that's more of your gentlemanly kind of cologne type of scent. Anytime you get a mahogany or teakwood, it kind of lends itself to uh, kind of a uh, cologne type of scent. There's no aquatic in it. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I tell you what, let me uh, let me read to you guys the way it's written on the website, because I do think they do a decent job with that uh, description on how this works. So give me just a second here. I'll pull it up. So it says 
woodsy and earthy, clean and refreshing. Um, I'm with you on all that. And then it says citrus and ozone top notes with middle notes of jasmine and lily. So that paints a little bit more of a picture to it. So it's a little more complex. It's not just a woodsy kind of mahogany teak wood smells like wood. That's not what this is. So it does have a little bit of that citrus and that ozone gives it a little bit of bite to it. So it's got that little bit of bite that you'll find in like those old school kind of cologne type of scents uh, and the middle notes of jasmine and lily. You definitely get it like the earthy, a little bit on the outdoorsy vibe with the jasmine and lily, but it's not overly outdoorsy. It's not overly floral, anything like that. It's just a good mahogany and teak wood, which is a good uh, profile for like uh, the old style kind of cologne. So I really enjoyed that. So the prices are $14.99. They also have some combinations where you can add in a bamboo comb or a boar's hair brush. So if you're needing to pick up another boar's hair brush, I use boar's hair brush more than anything. Whenever I'm combing my beard, grooming my beard, I always finish with some sort of uh, brush, bristle brush like this. Uh, I don't know if you guys do or not. Let me know if you're, you're a big fan of the uh, boar bristle type of brushes. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure you check out Are You Essential? Uh, they are also on Instagram, so you can check out their feed. If you have any questions, you can reach out and contact the owner. If you have any questions for me, let me know. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next video.